Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is AmeriCorps for you. So today, you got Lowy and Shy. We are going to be doing something super exciting. Drum roll, please. Rainbow Walking Water Bridge. So, as you guys know, we have been posting weekly for this channel, and starting next week, we are going to be doing a new segment on kids yoga. So, keep a look out for that one. Let's get to it. We're going to get straight into the materials. So, you'll need some jars or cups. You'll need um, just little food colorings. You need some water for the jars. Also, you can use those, um, those cups, but we just use smaller ones because it'll be a little easier if you guys don't have mason jars because I know everyone has red solo cups in their kitchen, right? So, but we have mason jars here, but you are more than welcome to use um, red solo cups. You also need some scissors, and then you just need a roll of paper towels. Okay, so today, this is a very uh, science-based project. This is our STEM one and we're going to give a little overview on it and while we're doing the experiment we'll go more into depth about it but Lily's gonna explain a little intro on it okay so basically what we're doing today is we're putting water in some of the jars and adding food coloring and then we're using the paper towel as a bridge to transfer some of the colored water into the other one and then we're gonna see what happens cool so Excited. we're gonna get started on doing it but we're also gonna talk about what we think is gonna happen while we're doing it. What do you think is gonna happen? So, I I really think that the colors are not gonna mix and um, they're gonna be separated at the top. What do you think? They're gonna be separated? <coughs> What's gonna be separated? <laughs> the colors, the colors aren't gonna go together. Oh, okay. That's what I think. I kind of think, I think since these will be together, like the, <laughs> the red and the blue, they'll make like a purple in this one. That's my guess. That's pretty good, right? So we're just gonna put water into the jars, every other jar, and just fill the cup or the jar up halfway with water. Filling in the water to make it perfect. How many drops? I don't know. Two, three, four, five. Five? Okay. We can do five. Ooh. You could probably do more to make it more um, darker. Very nice. That's cool. Sweet. Mix it a little. And I think those two colors will make it lime green. Yeah, that's my guess. So am I. Okay. Kind of trying to put the scientific method <laughs> into this. Okay, so we just half the, um, the paper towel and then just half it again. This is making the bridge for it to mix. So you're gonna have to make a few of these to get into each one. Mm -hmm. So once you have it halved um, twice, you're gonna half it this way. So when you're working with scissors, make sure you're careful and supervised and just yeah, be very cautious. Um, so what I do, or what I did, is the one where it folds, just cut a little piece of that so you're not wasting so much. Now. You can honestly probably just cut it like this. Oh, that too. <laughs> just thought about that. So you have those two. So this one's going to go in there, and then this one will go in there, and then we might actually need more, right? Yeah, we're going to have to make some. <laughs> So then after you do this, just fold it in half again and then that'll be big enough to transfer. I feel like I did something like this when I took a chemistry class. Yeah, so as you guys know, we're both science majors, so we do some pretty cool stuff in our science labs. So both of us have actually done this experiment in college, so that's exciting. Now that we have the little napkins in the jars, we are going to give you guys a little time lapse. So watch the magic happen.
hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse. We did it in about 15 minutes, um, but obviously this is gonna be your experiment. You can add more water, add more food coloring. Um, as you guys noticed in the time lapse, we did add a little bit more of the, um, the food coloring just to see if it was gonna speed up the process. But after 15 minutes, this is what we got. If you really like feel your paper towels or ours, are, they're really wet, but they really didn't um, go together. I thought these were, these were gonna go together and make like a purple. So that was my prediction, but it really didn't work that well. But maybe the timing was different. You guys can do it longer if you guys want. Maybe just let it go for like an hour or so. I don't know. This, so, that's what science is. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what, what I was going to say. Right. So for everybody, it's going to be different. You can add more food coloring for different colors and see how that affects it. Like, if we did it again, we would probably add like maybe more color in the red and see if the color would transfer through the paper towel more. Like the green and the yellow, because they went pretty far. Yeah, but I think... Lily's prediction was pretty, um, I think you were kind of right. Yeah, so my prediction was that the colors weren't going to mix together, but the color, like the color transferred onto the towel, but the color didn't mix. So that was my prediction. So I have a question though. Why did the food coloring come up to the towel? So I have an answer. The process is called capillary action. And as you know, or as you may not know, I paper towels. <laughs> oh, please inform us. Inform so, us, Lowry. How it works is paper towels have fibers, right? Mm -hmm. So the between the fibers, there's gaps. And the water is able to transfer through the gaps in the fibers up the paper a towels. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you guys a visual. Oh, well, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, the water travels up the gaps of the fibers in the paper towels and that's what makes the water and the food coloring. Since there's coloring in there, you can actually see how it works because the coloring is transferring up the paper towel. So without the coloring, it would be the water. And that's why at, even when there's no color, the paper towel's still wet because the water still travels up the paper towel. So Ma which makes it a little bit harder because that's going up the concentration gradient. And if you guys know, if you guys are really like nerds into science, how we are, Going up to concentration gradient is a bit harder than going mm -hmm. down because of the forces in the molecules, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So um, that's kind of how paper towels work. Whenever something's dirty on your um, table, you wipe it off, and that's like what allows the dirt to come up in the, uh, the napkins yeah. because of the fibers. Like when you spill a drink or whatever, and you put the paper towel on it, you could literally see the the water or yeah. the juice soak into the paper towel, and that's because of the Capillary action. <laughs> awesome. That was exciting. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. And if you guys did attempt this, comment down below. So that's everything for us. Uh, just make sure you wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay safe, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.